What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with my haul from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I didn't pick up that much stuff but also in this video I want to share some of the other things that I've hauled in the past two weeks. As you guys know, I know you know, like there is an explosion of Sephora recommendation videos and haul videos that are going on right now in the beauty community because Sephora gave us 20% off. Before the Sephora VIB sale started, they gave us 20% off as well if you knew somebody that worked in Sephora. So so Sephora employees, friends, and families got 20% off. So I've had a 20% off code pretty much continuously for the past two weeks. I think that Sephora should start doing the friends and family sale in August. That way it's not such a long stretch from April to October. Like I need something in the middle. So if anybody from Sephora, like a higher up VP sees this video, please give us something in the summertime because April to November is a long time and that friends and family is like right there right in front of the VIB sale so it's kind of slighting the VIB rouges because the friends and family really get first access 20% so I picked up a few things in the store and of course they gave me this tote as well as I ordered some things online because I like to get my Ebates rebates if you guys don't know about Ebates you get a percentage back based on what's going on for the day for stuff you're going to buy anyway if you sign up I have my link down below it's like the best thing since sliced bread I'm just gonna grab things at random out of the bag the first thing that I picked up was a backup of my beloved NARS radiant creamy concealer in the color biscuit I run through these probably once every four months so, so my video for this palette went out first but I did go ahead and pick this up this is the Huda Beauty Texture Shadows Palette the Rose Gold Edition if you guys haven't seen that video I will have that linked down below make sure you check that out when you get a chance I review do swatches and a tutorial of this palette as you guys will see in a minute I kind of went on a Anastasia lip gloss kick and I picked up the color Bordeaux. I picked this color out online I thought it was a tad bit vampier. I thought the color would be more similar to the sticker but instead it's kind of more red. So this is an item that has been on my wish list for quite some time. It's an eyelash curler by the brand Surratt. I'm not going to even butcher the French name for it but this won the best of beauty award from Allure in 2014 and I've wanted it for quite some time I look at it every time I go in Sephora and I always wanted but I never took the plunge so while I was browsing on Sephora's website I'm like now is the time I need to get it so it comes in a black box Ugh. and then it has like a little black cloth case which is really good for me because I like to take my things with me when I travel and it has a replacement little plastic thing and here is the lash curler so I've heard nothing but good things about this from makeup artists like I look at professional makeup artists rave about which which is their favorite eyelash curler and a lot of people say this one. You know we all have those things on our list that you just don't buy and it's not even really about the money because it was only $30 and I've spent that 50 times over in Sephora. It's just some things you just buy, you look at it and you want it and then you're like, I'll get it next time. This is one of those things and the time was now. Next I ordered this set online. They did not have this in any of my Sephora locations. This is a set by the brand Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant is a skincare brand. I have been using the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel for about three or four months now or maybe even longer no about three or four months now I don't know when it's going to run out because the case is opaque so I can't see like where I am I just know that I've been using it every day so I probably should grab another one but I saw this set for $82 and basically you're able to try out the C Firma Day Serum the TLC Frem Boost Glycolic Night Serum and the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil and peaky bar but all of these are sample size with the exception of the Be Hydra intensive hydration gel and these are all things I want to try because I've had pretty good results with the Be Hydra gel and also from Drunk Elephants I pretty much play with this every time I go into Sephora and I have for the past year but I just haven't purchased it and this is the Drunk Elephant version Marula luxury facial oil in a full size but I really think that I'll use a, get a good use out of this it comes with the dropper and 
you're able to drop the oil and you can apply this to your face neck chest hands or any place where you need increased hydration so I really have been loving this every time I go on Sephora I put some on the back of my hand and my hand always feels really soft there so I know that I'm going to be loving this so these are things that I picked up in the store and some of these things I purchased with the Sephora employee appreciation discount so I just added it all in one bag so this lip gloss has been on my list for quite some time as well. This is the NARS lip gloss in the color Chelsea Girls. I have legitimately wanted this lip gloss since it was in a pot. They discontinued the lip gloss form in the pot, but they made it into like a regular lip gloss with the wand. So I was like, I have wanted this close to 10 years. Never got it. I'm like, I'm getting this lip gloss. It's just something that I want. It's a plain neutral, but you guys know I love neutral, so I definitely will wear it. And it's a gorgeous color. So I threw that in the bag when I, I was literally contemplating, like, what do I want? Like, I buy so much. What do what could I possibly want? And I was like, I need to just go ahead and get this. I also bought this with the employee appreciation discount. This one is the Beauty Water by Sun and Park. If you guys saw my October favorites, I went ahead and featured this. This. basically this is a super water so it cleanses it moisturizes it tones it does it all it smells good it feels good and I really love incorporating this step after I wash my face just to go back over everything and I feel like it gives more hydration and it also has like a moisturizing property in it to where it's like a light extra layer of moisturizer so I really have been loving this and every time I go into Sephora this is not there so it has been selling out and I really love it it says that it cleanses and lightly exfoliates and I love this stuff also a Korean brand this one is the J1 jelly pack this is a makeup gripper it claims to have dramatic firming skin with improved elasticity and pore smoothing so it's essentially a primer that you put on I think I bought this even before the employee appreciation sale I just haven't had a haul I was walking in Sephora with Mel and she bought one so I bought one and I've used this probably once or twice underneath my makeup it comes with a good amount of products 1.6 nine fluid ounces and you don't need a lot because this stuff is intense like if you're ever in a Sephora and you try it you will see how sticky it is it's called the jelly pack and that's because it feels like jelly going on now once you put your makeup on it's not still going to feel sticky but initially applying this on your face like literally it clings and holds onto dear life on your face so be strategic where you put it be serious when you use this so this grips onto your makeup I picked up this fragrance because I have wanted this for forever. This one is by Nest Fragrances, which are made in New York. This one is in the scent Verde, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it smells very, very green and very fresh. And I love this. Nest Fragrances are so nice because they are not, not strong, but they just last a long time. And they're not that expensive. I believe this was like $50 with the discount. So I really love this. I got it in the big size. And next I just grabbed a bunch of Anastasia stuff. So I got some eyeshadow singles. Um, when you buy four, you get the empty palette that you can apply it in. And I don't really want to use this. I want to just go ahead and put these in a Z palette. Orange Soda. Fawn. Hot Chocolate. Wine. And Amber. And these are actually my first Anastasia eyeshadow singles. Now that I have these, I realize that one of them is my mom's. That's why I have five. She just wanted to have one. So I have to give that to her when I see her again. And then I picked up two more lip glosses. This one is in the color Sepia, which as you can probably imagine, is like a grayish tone, but actually it's more nude than anything. It has like a cooler tone to it, but it's still like nudish. It doesn't really come off as gray. And then I picked up the color Fudge just because I felt like this would be perfect for the fall. And I love brown colors, so I was like, I know I'll use this. So yeah, that's all I got from Sephora. Like, are you or are you not proud of me? Like, I did not go crazy. It's like such a small amount. It was enough for me to feel like I got some good stuff, but then it was like just enough for it not to be like girl, you went crazy. But I did pick up some other stuff from Nordstrom and MAC, also Makeup Geek. So let me show you guys. So from MAC, I definitely didn't go crazy. Like I said, like MAC and Sephora, I pretty much have purchased everything, unless it's new or it's a replenishment. 
like it's not a whole lot left for me to buy. I wanted to go ahead and get the new packaged Marine Bright Formula Softening Lotion. It's, it's the same formula, they just switched the packaging. And then I picked this up, everybody went crazy about it. This came out with the Nutcracker Collection. It is the Sweet Copper Face Compact, which if you guys don't know, they re-released Whisper of Guilt and then they have the blush which is called Pleasure Model, which is an extra dimension blush. And everybody went crazy about it. It sold out so fast. But I pre-ordered mine at my counter. I don't know if a lot of people even knew that MAC was doing pre-orders. So that could account to why it sold out so fast. But I was able to just pay for it and then pick it up the day that it launched and I had it no problem. With the Taraji mix-up, yeah, that. They sent out $25 gift cards to people who it affected. So I had to use my gift card. So I just purchased three things, four things. I got an Empty Pro Palette Large. It's the single one. And if you guys have never seen that, it's just, this is it. And since the eyeshadow singles are like dirt cheap nowadays, I got the color Night's Divine, which I did not have. I got another nylon, which I feel like I could never have enough of those. And I got the color Corduroy, which I don't even know if I have this, but I bet you $10 I do, but just is buried somewhere. So I picked up three eyeshadows and it was free, so why not? So I ordered some eyeshadow singles from Makeup Geek. This is my first Makeup Geek purchase of individual eyeshadows, even though I have been pining for these eyeshadows for years. I have literally wanted these eyeshadows for years, but I guess November is the month of, you've been wanting it, Kelsey, so just do it. I broke down and I bought some, even though I still have more that I'm going back to get. My first purchase from Makeup Geek was the Makeup Geek slash Manny MUA palette, and I love that. I still use it to this day. I ordered two sets because it seemed like the best deal for the eyeshadows that I was wanting at the time. Even though I still have a list long of eyeshadows, I had to practice self-control. The first set has the colors Bake Sale, Bandwagon, Cabin Fever, Early Bird, Faux Fur, Lucky Penny, Pocket Change, Sidekick, Tan Lines. In this set, I got the colors Curtain Call, Legend, Magic Act, Bada Bing, Bitten, Chickadee, Morocco, Peach Smoothie, and Sidekick. Did I already say Sidekick? I knew I had already said Sidekick, so I have two Sidekicks, yay. But let me show you guys what I got from Nordstrom and Chanel now. So I tracked down and I got the Victoria Beckham highlighter, which I just felt like I needed in my life. And I didn't order this highlighter when I first saw it online, but I just got more and more and more infatuated with finding the highlighter. So. I got it from Miami. So <laughs> um, it's very weighty, very nice, and it comes in this black packaging and it's trimmed in the gold. Oh my gosh, it's so weighty. It feels so nice and luxurious. And you open it up and it has this huge mirror and it has this huge pan of highlighter in it. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a swatch. Here's the highlighter up close. Oh my gosh, so nice, right? Like, look at that. So smooth. And then I have beat up this box, but I got another Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy Total Effect Intensity Mascara. I feel like I buy these so much because I keep losing them. Like, I have a new one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. So I need to find that, but here's my mascara. And lastly, I ordered this blush from NARS. But this one is in the color Gina. And it's a really pretty corally blush. So I'm loving that. And then lastly, my friend Chanel. The Soleil Tande Chanel and I, okay, no judgment, okay. So I purchased this probably four times and this time is the time. I'm in love with this product. I love the way it smells, I love the way it feels. I just feel like they need to have deeper shades 
for deeper complexions and I feel a type of way about that. Another product that I've been wanting to try from Chanel is their powder foundation. This one is the La Tense Ultra Tenure Tense Compact Oat Co Perfection. <laughs> Ultra Wear Flawless Compact Foundation and I got the color 70 beige and Chanel is just a classy line you guys know that so I've been wanting to try this powder foundation because I love powder foundations and it comes with a little felt carrier and here's the powder so I actually have not used this so if you guys want a Chanel video where I use some of my new Chanel products, let me know down below. The last thing that I have to share in this video is a Chanel Illusion de Ombre in the color New Moon. And again, a product that I have repurchased because my other one dried out pretty bad. I have heard that Chanel reformulated so it doesn't dry out as fast, but it is a gorgeous gorgeous color I mean it's just beautiful to throw on it's almost like a rose gold hint and then not makeup related but I got Invisalign today on the top and on the bottom in the video I haven't worn it on the top because I'm not used to talking with it so I took it out I had the bottom in but but yeah that's everything that I've hauled recently I probably am going to buy more stuff come sooner to the holidays like Christmas I'm pretty sure I will buy a whole nother hauls worth of stuff because I love holiday makeup so I'm waiting for all of that to release but let me know what you guys picked up during the sale if you haven't already make sure you go watch my Sephora recommendation video that's for the VIBs who still have to shop the sale and you guys can see like what I got versus what I hauled and all that good stuff like that but let me know what you picked up in the sale down below also, make sure you subscribe before you leave. That way we keep in touch with each other. And I also have an Instagram and a Snapchat. So if you want to follow me there, the links to that will be down below as well as in the video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you picked up down in the comment section. And I will talk to you in my next video. Smooches. Bye.